In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages Excel 92 and 93, in which we're going to annotate and draw on a chart. You can use text annotations and graphics to point out critical information in a chart. Text annotations are labels that further describe your data. You can also draw lines and arrows that point to the exact locations you want to emphasize. Shapes such as arrows and boxes can be added from the Illustrations group on the Insert tab or from the Insert Shapes group on the Chart Tools Format tab on the ribbon. The Insert group is also used to insert pictures into the worksheet and charts. Now step one on page Excel 92 tells us that we want to make sure that the chart is selected and that the format, uh, the Chart Tools Format tab is selected. Next, we're going to go here to the Insert Shapes group and we're going to click on the Text Box button. Now when we click on that, we're going to move our pointer over the worksheet. And you'll notice that the pointer changes uh, to this kind of weird looking uh, uh, I-beam pointer. It's not quite an I-beam pointer there. Uh, but this is going to indicate that you will insert a text box where you uh, next click. Now step two, it tells us that we want to click just to the right um, of the chart. And of course that's anywhere outside the chart boundary. So we're just going to click just anywhere outside the chart boundary here. And that creates our text box here. Now the text box is added to the worksheet and the drawing tools format tab appears on the ribbon so that you can format the new object. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to type the text. And we're going to type in Great Improvement. Now, of course, a quick tip. You can also insert a text box by clicking the Text Box button in the Text Group on the Insert tab. And then you can click in the Worksheet. Now, as we type in Great Improvement, the text appears in the selected text box on the worksheet. Now the chart is no longer selected. Now, of course, your text box may be in a different location, but of course that's not important right now because we're going to move this uh, in the next step. Now, in step four, we're going to point to an edge of the text box. So we're just going to point to an edge to where we have our four pointed uh, arrow that's on here. And then we're going to click on this and drag this text box into the chart just to the left of the chart title. And we're going to do this just a little bit below, and we're going to place it right about here uh, on there, just so that you can see all the text there. Uh, but we're going to click, and we're going to place that um, text box just to the left of the chart title. Once you drag it there, you just release your mouse button, and the text box is now a text annotation for the chart. Now, of course, now we want to go through and add a simple arrow shape into the chart because where's this great improvement at? So we're going to go to step five. And in step five, it tells us that we first of all want to click on the chart to select it because you notice that our chart tools uh, is not up there. So now we click on the chart and the chart tools appear. And we want to click on the format tab here. Now we want to go back to the Insert Shapes group and we want to click on the arrow shape. And of course that's uh, just two uh, buttons over from the text box button that we used earlier. So we click on this arrow shape and then we want to move this um, over the text box on the chart. So we want to move this down here. And of course you'll notice that the mouse pointer will actually change to kind of a black cross here if you want to put it on there. And of course the status bar will now display, click and drag to insert uh, the auto shape, or an auto shape that's on there. Now of course when the um, mouse pointer is over the text box, black handles appear around the text box. Now a black handle can act as an anchor uh, for the uh, new arrow. So we're going to position our uh, crosshair here on the black handle just to the right of the T. So we're going to position our point, mouse pointer right here. And it's just to the right of the T in the word improvement. And then we're going to press and hold the left mouse button and we're going to drag this uh, line to the quarter two column uh, for the Germany category. 
uh, on there. So we're going to click and we're just going to drag this down and we're going to point this right here to the quarter two. And then we release our mouse button. Now an arrow is now going to point to the quarter two expense for Germany. And of course the drawing tools format tab is now displayed uh, options for working with the new uh, arrow object. Now you can resize, format, or delete it just like any other object in the chart. Now of course a quick tip on there as well. You, uh, to annotate a chart using a callout um, on there, you can click the Shapes button in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab, or the More button in the Insert, insert Shapes group on the Chart Tools Format tab, and then click the Shape in the Callouts category in the Shapes group. Now in step 7 here, it tells us that we are going to click the Shape Outline List arrow. And that's of course in the Shapes Style group here, and here's the Shapes Outline. And it tells us that we want to click the Automatic Color. And of course notice it changes it now to a black color there. And then of course it tells us that we want to click the Shape Outline List arrow again. And this time we're going to go down to weight, and we're going to weight this one and a half points. Once you do that, compare your spreadsheet to what you see on here, and then go ahead and save your work. Now, of course, you can also add smart art graphics. And if you take a look on page Excel 93, that's where it explains a little bit about smart art graphics. We worked with that in Word. And of course, in addition to charts, annotations, and drawn objects, you can create a variety of diagrams using smart art graphics. And of course, smart art graphics are available in list, process, cycle, hierarchy, relationship, matrix, and pyramid categories. To insert smart art, you click the Insert a Smart Art Graphic button in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab to open the Choose a Smart Art Graphic dialog box. Then you click a Smart Art category in the left pane, and then you click the layout for the graphic in the right pane. Now the right pane shows a sample of the selected Smart Art layout, in which you can see on figure D21 on page Excel 93. The Smart Art graphic appears in the worksheet as an embedded object with sizing handles. And of course, you can click the Text Pane button on the Smart Art Tools Design tab to open a text pane to, uh, next to the graphic. And here you can enter text into the graphic using the text pane, or you can actually just type directly into the shapes in the diagram. So once you make sure that your work is saved, you are now ready to move on to the next video.